Good morning from the snow, cold and snowy eastern United States. This is Jerry3904 of the MX Forum, bringing you an, a good look at a new and exciting MX tool named Rofi Manager. Rofi is well known to its fans as a window switcher and an applications menu, though it can do much more than just that. It's really difficult, however, to find out even basic information about it. A new user must search far and wide to gain a decent grasp of functions, themes, and the various options. Let me show you what I mean. Once you have found out how to launch Rofi, you will see something like this. This is a beginning of a list of applications, and the user can go through that and launch the application from there. What's interesting is what isn't there. There's no preferences, there's no configuration, there's no instruction, there's no knowledge about how to change themes. Nothing is there except the list. We have solved this problem with the Rofi Manager. Just a glance at that tells you that there's all sorts of information and options presented to the user about all those questions located. So before we go into the details of the Rofi Manager, I wanted to make a quick look at the themes that come, some of the themes at least, that come along with it. They're pretty interesting and you can see some of the, the options that you're, you can use so quickly. The easiest way is for me to click on change the current Rofi theme and I'm going to show you just a few of these. Here's one called MX App Finder. I'm going to double click it and you can see as this shows the applications with their icons and a nice uh, layout like that. So that's a very nice one that we have. Here's one that's somewhat ex experimental, MX Iconic. It has a particular font package that I've installed. So I'll double click that. And we're looking at this as a potential menu replacement that really looks pretty sharp, I think. Uh, this one, MX Run, I did a video last week on this. This is a substitute for a run box that we have. Uh, MX Sidebar is kind of interesting because this is a derivative of the uh, official sidebar um, and we've changed it a lot. Uh, getting into the uh, extras, these other, uh, I'm going to show you my absolute favorite in this category um, is called, uh, let me move this up so you can see it, is a from the bottom double, double column one that is nice. I like that a lot. Um, I'm going to show you uh, what's the next one on my list here. Uh, forest, a nice soothing green. Kind of a nice gray green one. Um, and uh, Photon, which is a kind of a neat one. Kind of a really, if you like this kind of thing, a very nice one. And uh, one more, this kind of, it's called Two Lines. It's just up at the top here. Um, let me do that again so you can see it. Two lines, kind of a minimal Rofi. You can see it, you got your search and then a few things here. And so that's, these are real, very different options. And then finally to take a look at, um, so this below this system, these are the official Rofi, uh, the official Rofi themes that are installed uh, when you install Rofi. Um, there's some n nice ones in there. There are kind of there's uh, one here, this indigo, um, which doesn't want to come up for me. Let's try that again. Indigo, it's kind of a bright, bright blue. And I'm going to show one more and give it up. It's called Arthur, and I click it, and it looks nice. And you can change that all any way you want. So. Um, those are, that's just a quick overview of the theme gallery that you've got and it's something that makes, it makes a, uh, a lot of fun to add. I like having fun things. Now I'm going to turn the mic and the camera over to my colleague Melber, the, the MX developer who did all the coding for this. And he's going to walk you through the details of how this all works. Good day, Melber here. I'm going to take you for a quick run through Rofi Manager. Let's push the Windows key to open Rofi. Type in Rofi. You can see Rofi Manager there at the start. 
and the window is open. So we have a series of buttons here that offer us different activities. The first one, change the current Ruffy theme. Click on there and create I get the window Ruffy theme. It tells me that the current theme is MX Comfort and its settings are specific. This is important because there are two different types of settings. Specific changes only the settings for the active theme. The other option, Global, uses settings which apply to all themes. Uh, the settings we're talking about are the appearance settings. They are the things like where the window appears on the screen, how wide it is, how tall it is, and which font it uses. I'll change this back to specific. The next thing to see, double click for preview. So the themes we have listed here are the user themes, which are saved under your username.config Rofi themes. Double click gives you a preview of the different themes here at the top. Sidebar appears on the side. We also have extra themes, which Jerry has found on his travels around the internet. We click on these, we also get a preview. So to change a theme is quite easy. You choose the theme you want, whether it should be specific or global settings. Press OK. All done. When I now press the Windows key, MX Fancy has been set as the current theme. The next option to look at are the tabs. I click on this window and it gives me a list of the various tabs that are available and tells me what the current settings are. DRUN is an app finder, help is a help obviously, and the third tab at the moment is empty. You can see when I push the window I have DRUN and I have help. Let's just change to, let's say, we'll put window as the second tab and help as a third tab. Click OK, tells me all done. When I now press the Windows key, you can see that I have three different tabs to choose from. If I quickly go back to changing the current theme and preview Nero, you'll see that there are no tabs to click on with this. There's always the option of pressing Control tab and that will cycle through the various tab settings. The next option is to change the location and size on the screen. I press it. We can see the current settings are specific. That means that any of these settings that I change will only apply to the current theme, which is MX Fancy. So let's go through the location. Rofi, for some reason, decided to use cardinal directions instead of the standard top, top right, left. Settings, um, the thing to remember, north is upwards. We have a help screen here to help explain it. North is the top of the screen. East is the right of the screen. Northeast is the top right. So on and so forth going around. So let's say that I want to set my Rofi window to appear on the top left of the screen here. And that is northwest. The next problem, or Issue is I have a panel here on the left. I don't want my Rofi window to cover it. That is where the X and Y offsets come into play. X offset will move the Rofi window left and right, Y offset up and down. You see, if I'm putting my Rofi window here, I want to move it to the right. I'm not sure off the top of my head how wide that Tint2 panel is, so I'll just take a guess that it's 144. Y offset, uh, another thing to remember is that negative number moves the window upwards and a positive moves it downwards. That is the way it works in the Rofi settings. The same with the north, east, west, south. I decided to leave it that way so that if you open a Rofi configuration file, you'll understand what the settings mean straight away. Next option would be width. At the moment it's set to be 40% of the screen width, which is quite wide. Let's drop that down to 20. 
just so we can see the difference. The last setting is height, is how many lines uh, the window, the Rothy window shows when you open it. It's at 12 at the moment. I'll drop that down to six. So we should be getting quite a narrow and not very tall. I press OK. It's been set. And I now press the Windows key. And you can see the Rothy window appears at the top left has only six lines and is much narrower than before. If I return to setting the theme and say fancy, which the, that theme is, and change that to global settings, it will now read in the global settings for the window and it will no longer appear in the top left, but global settings are originally in the middle, I believe. Press OK and OK. And we're back in the middle. I'll change this back to being specific again. Specific, fancy, okay. Press the Windows key, yes, it's up there. The next option is to be able to change the font. Click on font. Here we have the standard MX font. Let's choose something that looks a little bit different so we can see the difference. Or we'll take something that looks like this. You can also change the size of the font. Let's bump it up to 16 so we can see. Select and OK. If I now press the Windows key, you can see I'm using this font. Because we're specific, it is only the font here that's been changed. If I change again back to global and fancy and say OK. Pressing the Windows key, you can see we're still using the original font. I'll change that back to specific again. So the next button down is to recolor a theme. That is useful if you're not using a background that has MX Comfort colors, you want something different, and click on here. The uh, only themes available to change the colors at the moment are the MX themes. There we've edited the uh, configuration file, so this recoloring works. Let's take the standard MX Comfort. Okay. We get this window. And you now see, okay, I'll put all these buttons to change the different colors. I'm not sure what's what. Press the help button and we get an overview of which numbers relate to which part of the Rafi window. Uh, let's just change the two blue colors here. So we've got seven, eight, and nine. Active tab background, active tab tab. Highlight, that sounds like the one we're looking for. Number nine and 10 and 11 is this blue color. Selection background, that sounds right. So we can see here, active tab highlight and selection background are the two blue ones. I can just click on the window now to choose a color, let's say orange, select. You can also choose a color using the pipette. It opens a color selection window here. You click on the pipette and you can click anywhere on the screen to choose a color. It's useful for matching colors to a different wallpaper. Or here, if I want the same orange, I can just click straight on there. We need to give that a new name. Let's be inventive and call it MX Comfort Orange. Make the new theme comf current, yes. Say OK. All done. And when I now press the Windows key, we have a comfort theme with orange highlights. The last button is to edit a Rafi theme. A configuration file. This will open the file directly in a text editor. It's uh, perhaps for more advanced users who want to change specific things within text files. I'll just show you quickly how it works. It lists the available files here. We can pick one, say OK. Um, because the file I chose is uh, saved in the user folder where you it can't be edited without root permissions. The Rafi manager has made a copy of that file and saved it under the home folder, username.config, Rafi themes, 
and added a timestamp on the end. Say OK. And the theme opens the configuration file. Here you can change colors, positions, and those sort of things. So that was a quick run through. Hopefully it's been helpful. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, for Melber. That was an excellent presentation and discussion of the manager, and we appreciate your joining us for it. By the way, for people who are interested, I'm doing this video on XFCE desktop on my 10-year-old uh, laptop, HP laptop, that I still really enjoy. So this last section is just called Help. It has three quick topics. The first is the Help tab on, uh, that is default for the themes, that is, say, our themes. If I pull up, um, this is my little favorite theme. If I pull up this theme, remember there are no tabs visible, so we're going to use Shift Arrow to get to the Help tab. Uh, and you see that the word calc in this particular case I could thread down but the word calc is highlighted and that has to do with if you're using obviously if you use Rofi as a calculator and uh, I will hit return here and so if you decide to do that this is a little hints and tips on how to use Rofi as a calculator and it just helps you you don't have to go looking for things on your own gives you resources and how to do it so that that tab that help tab is something you ought to really take a look at secondly if you yourself have need help there is a feedback thread on the MX forum I will put the URL in the description below but uh, that's a fo feedback for the application really more than just Rofi the application itself um, and thirdly, uh, we need help. We need your help if possible. This is the first release of Rofi Manager and our translations are not always complete. And we could use some real help over the next month trying to bring them up to speed so that people who uh, aren't comfortable reading English particularly should, will be able to find it in their own language. To do that, you need to register for TransFX and then take a look at the MX Rofi Manager resource. And I will put the URLs for both of those also in the description below. Okay, I hope you use it and enjoy it. Let us know how you feel. See you another time.